Good morning, welcome to Large Group. Hey, we're in the Fear Buster Lab. My name is Beaker. Hey, do I have anybody who wants to help me? You can be Fear Busters too. Do you know what? There is no fear in this lab. That's why it's called the Fear Buster Lab. Hey, we have a Bible verse that'll kind of help us out. It's in Psalms. It says, I prayed to the Lord and He answered me. He freed me from all my fears. How about that? So that's what we're doing. We're busting fears. Hey, why don't we stand up and let's sing a song. When we pray, our God hears, sets us free from all our fears. When we pray, our God hears, sets us free from all our fears. We're not scared. us free from all our fears. We're not scared. No, no, no. Are we scared? No, no, no. We're not scared. No, no, no. Are we scared? No, no, no. Wow, that was great singing. Hey, you know what? We have some friends here in the Fear Buster Lab. Our friends are monsters. They're not scary monsters. They're friendly monsters. Would you like to meet them? Great! Hey, this is Mimi Monster. And then there's Momo Monster, and Bebo Monster, and Zingo Monster. Sometimes our monster friends are scared, and so we have to help them bust their fear. We should probably go over our rules for the lab. Rule number one is be kind, and we have to be kind by using our quiet lips. We also have to be quiet because of our pet snake in the aquarium. He likes it very quiet. Rule number two is to be safe. We have to be safe by sitting on our color carpet or in our hula hoop. Oh, perfect. I know you were kind of wondering why I have this lion in my pocket. Well, I have this lion in my pocket just in case something goes wrong in the lab today, and I may need to cuddle him. I'm not really sure, but anyway, I just wanted to let you know that's why I had this lion in my pocket. Are you ready to look at our monster meter? Let's see what's going on with our monster friends today. Oh. Look at there. If they have a green meter, that means they're not scared. But if they have a red meter, it means they're scared. <gasps> oh no, there is a monster who has a red meter. It's Mimi Monster. Oh, I wonder what's wrong with Mimi Monster. Oh, Mimi Monster is very scared of storms. And today, it looks like it's gonna storm, and so Mimi is really, really scared. Oh, you know what? I think we have a Bible story that goes along with this. What is that special agent's name? Lou True. Hey, let's see if Lou True has something to help us out today. Maybe he can help our monster friends. Agent True, Agent True. Hey there, Fear Buster friends. I'm Agent Lou True, ready to bust some monster fears with God's Word. Fear Busters, do you know what God's Word is? The Bible! Right, a Rooney! Hey, Fear Busters, I think I hear something. Let's go check it out. I'm really scared. Agent True, is that you? It sure is, Mimi. What's got you so scared? I do not like storms. I do not like them at all. 
The rain and the thunder scare me so much. Oh, Mimi, I'm sorry the storm scared you. Sometimes storms can sound scary. A lot of people feel scared during storms. But I want to help you bust this fear. We can do that with a story from God's Word. Mimi, would you like to hear a story from God's Word? That would be roarsome. We monsters love to hear stories from God's Word. Fear Busters, do you like to hear stories from God's Word too? Yes! Great, then let's all put on our gazing goggles. Zoop, zoop! One day, Jesus said to his friends, let's get in the boat and sail to the other side. So they got in the boat and began to row on the water. Let's all pretend to row like Jesus' friends. Row, row, row. Again, row, row, row. Riding in a boat sounds fun, but I'm always too scared it will storm, so I have never been in one. Boy, did we pick the perfect story in the Bible to read together. Let's keep reading. Jesus had been teaching all day, and he was tired. So he lay down in the boat and went to sleep. Friends, can you pretend to sleep like Jesus? All of a sudden, the wind began to blow really hard. Then the waves started splashing so high, the boat was about to sink. Oh no, oh no, I can't look. Agent True, you know I'm so scared of storms. Mimi, Jesus' friends were scared too. They ran to where Jesus was sleeping and shouted for him to wake up. They were scared the boat would sink. Jesus woke up and said to the wild wind and waves, be quiet, be still. The wind and the waves went away. The water was calm and quiet. Jesus asked his friends, don't you know that you can trust me? As they sailed away, Jesus' friends were not scared at all because they knew that they could trust Jesus to take care of them even in a scary storm. When you are scared, you can trust Jesus. Last week we learned that when you feel afraid, you can pray. When we pray, you can ask Jesus to help you, and then you can trust that he will take care of you. Wow! When I'm scared, I will trust Jesus. Let's pray and tell Jesus we trust him, like we're learning today. Say it after me. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I love you. I love you. Please help me. Please help me. I trust you. I trust you. Amen. Amen. That was a great prayer, Mimi. It looks as though my work here is done. Fear Buster Agent Lutru, over and out. Great job! That was a great Bible story! There is no need for us to be scared. Hey, let's look at our monster meter and see what it says. Great! Look in there! All of the meters are green! Mimi Monster has a green meter. That means Mimi's not scared anymore. Hey, why don't we stand up and let's sing a song?
That was great singing. Hey, are you ready to do our experiment for today? Oh, look at this. I have a tub of water. Hmm. Hey, I have a question for you. According to my computer, it wants to know if Mimi Monster was scared of storms or scared of worms. Oh, you're right. She was very, very scared of storms and the noise that storms made. All right, question number two. Was Jesus on the boat? Did he tell us that we can snore him or trust him? Do we snore to Jesus? I don't think so. But we can trust him. That's right. When we're scared of something, like a storm, we can trust Jesus. Now, this container of water, you know what? By my calculations, I'm going to put two items in here. And if one of them floats, then that means that our fear has been busted, that we can trust Jesus and we do not have to be scared of storms. Let's see what I have down here. Oh, I have my trusty rain boot. Let's put my trusty rain boot in there. Does my trusty rain boot float? I don't think so. What else do I have down here? Oh, let's see. Oh, I have my purple boat. I use it when I take a bath in the bathtub. Oh, look at the purple boat. Which one is floating? You're right. The purple boat is, is floating. Very nice. You know what? That means our fear has been busted. Fear busted. So we're going to take our boat, which represents the storms, and we are going to put him over in our fear box. Are you ready? All right. So. If I am scared of storms, which I do have my trusty lion, which means I could cuddle if I'm scared, but I don't need the lion to cuddle, do I? No, because I have Jesus and I have to trust in Jesus. So we're gonna put the lion in the box too. So our fear has been busted. Hey, do you have fears? Do you have a fear of the storm? If you have fears of storms, or you don't like the thunder and the lightning, then on the count of three, let's put your fear in the box as well. Are you ready? One, two, three. Toss your fear into the box. Perfect. And our fear has been busted. Wow, you did a great job today in the Fear Busters Lab. Why don't we say a prayer together? Open them, close them, open them, close them. Give a little clap. Open them, close them, open them, close them. Put them in your lap. Here we go. Dear God, thank you for our Bible story. Thank you for helping me when I'm scared. In Jesus' name, amen. Fear Busted